And as you can see, there's not just pennies. How the hails are you today? Tell us, how the hails are ya? We want to know in the comments below. And today, we got a unit online, $160 up in North Canton. George, you coming with me? I can't. George, you're finally fun employed. I know, but I have an agenda. What the hails could your agenda be <laughs> now that you're fun employed and you don't have to do anything all day? I need a me day, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to work. Apparently George has applied for me day. Has HR approved that? I'm just kidding. I actually have to train two of our employees that are going to be selling for us on eBay. Woo! All right. You go make the money. I'll go spend it. Just out of curiosity, you know anything about the previous owner? How long they had it? Yeah, she had it for, yeah, he had it for a while. Long time, huh? Did he have the other one that was two doors down? Yep. He did. for four. That one was sold for four seventy. I knew they were combined. Yeah, you had 2096, right? Yeah. yeah so he, he had 2094 as well. That one sold for four seventy. Right. I bid up to four sixty. Yeah, uh, the one 2096, the bid started off real low. Then all of a sudden it just yep. jumped real quick. Yeah, he said that unit since 2014. Wow. Do you know what happened to him? Um, honestly, he lives in Florida. And he's a retiree, I think. And I think he just... He, he, he's, he was paying real small amounts on his thing. So he's just gone. He just, yeah, he's, and there's nothing he could do because he lives in Florida, so he's like. Yeah, so I got the, I got the one of his for 160 and those others went for 470 I bid up to 460 but. Yeah, as so I got, yeah, he. The other guy come to pick up the other one yet? Not, not yet. So if you're the second bid on that one, if yeah. he doesn't show up within 40 hours, it automatically goes to you then. Well, let's hope he doesn't show up. <laughs> How often does that happen on Locker um, Fox? It depends. I don't know about that guy. And there's one guy he always wait like it just depends on because the guy that bit on he he's from Cleveland I think yeah, he's in Cleveland Ohio so if he doesn't get here by uh, I think the end of the day on Saturday which yeah. is one o'clock yeah the next, the next you'll day. you'll call me then yeah you'll yeah call I me. want it locker box if I call you and then I'll call you as well yeah you gotta cut them for every single locker box right yep sweet yeah we can't unfortunately we can't lock it. Yeah. Right. Open it up! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Broken glass. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought they stuffed in there. Yeah. There is a bowling ball in there, so be careful. There's a bowling ball? Yeah, when we, uh, we originally open them up to uh, like, take pictures of it, I had a bowling ball fall on my finger. Ow! Yeah. Oh, you're still bruised all yeah. up. That's a couple weeks ago. Oh, so, yeah, uh, so uh, the mason jars are in here, so just be careful. And then, yeah. Yeah. So then you can see. A bunch of old monitors in there. It goes back 12 feet. Oh, so. yeah, it goes back far. So, Holy cow. Yeah, you have until Monday morning to. Hopefully, I'll have it all yeah, out in an hour. If, it, if for any reason you can't get it all out, just let me know and I yep. can probably extend the time for a little bit. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Any questions, stop up front. Thank you. I got this one on LockerFox.com for $160. Now I was bidding on two. The one right next to it, $294, went for $470. I bid up to $460, tapped out at that point. I got to see profit. These are large, much larger than they look. They're 12 foot back. The guy's retired in Florida. Who the hells knows what we're going to find inside here? So let's start the treasure hunt. Let's start the dig. Let's load up and let's open some boxes. Upon first inspection, we definitely have a ton of old computer monitors, and they're even boxed. And we have toner cartridges and old printers. So far, the most valuable thing out of what I see just first opening is the foam and the bubble wrap for eBay packages. What's this? These are pegs for pegboard. We may actually have somebody who owned a computer store, maybe? because I'm seeing something else in here. This looks like a store display for, I don't know what kind of toy that is, but who the hells knows what's all gonna be back in here. I'm putting a dent in it, but it's fallen all over me. This box just fell down and it opened up when it did. Look at this, guys. Look at this, this has definitely had to be some kind of electronics computer store. This stuff is all brand new. You got motherboards, the whole deal. Now, somebody who does gold refining will get all the gold off of these contacts and they'll make gold bars. But it's just, it's everywhere. This absolutely 
had to be a store. And I'm guessing everything that I didn't get in the next one where I only bid up to 460 and somebody got it from Cleveland to, at 470, they got the rest of the store. And now I'm kicking myself. Oh man, this is gonna be incredible. Who knows what's in here? After getting through a layer of monitors and printers, all of this will be garbaged. And through a layer of scrap, let me show you what we have now. We have a whole new layer. Look at this. We have a layer of bicycles that just keeps going all the way to the back wall. It goes another eight foot. And we have no clue what's back in that corner. And yes, we definitely have a display here for these Popums, the Fisher Price Popons. So this right here could pay for the entire unit. Again, paid 160. We'll have to see if we can sell this on eBay. We can move a little bit better out here. So I brought a few things out here. Let's see, we've got we got the very first camcorder. We should start actually doing some of our YouTube videos on this here. It's a realistic model 100. Believe it or not, a lot of these still sell on eBay. You just have to look it up. I haven't looked it up yet. We've got a handful of half brand new tackle boxes, which I, I doubt he was selling tackle boxes in the store as well with computers. But yet again, here they are. There's a couple more even. Oh. See, brand new, never used. Or he could have, you know what? Because it was an electronics store, he could have actually kept pieces, except there's actually fishing stuff in here. I was gonna say he could have kept electronic pieces in here. Because a lot of people who work on electronics, they store things that way. Let's see what we have here. And we've got, yeah, more electronic parts and pieces. There's transistor, there's an entire bag of transistors. Entire bag. Um, brand new parts and pieces. You name it, this you probably had it. This looks like an entire st store stock. Right? Silicon solar cell. There's a little motor. There's a 8 volt DC motor. That'd be fun with some things. What do we got here? It looks special. It is special. It is batteries. Lots of batteries. That's a lighter. What else? More batteries. Um, a fill cap, double supply, I don't know what these parts are. These are little motors. I know those are little motors because I used to mess around with them with 9 volt batteries as a kid. Try and make things work. Let's see what we have here. Oh, something just jumped out at me. We've got Dorothy's shoes. 1031. Not sure if that means anything. It says 4-15-2003. On the inside maybe it means something maybe it doesn't we've got some kind of birdhouse I think this would be a birdhouse or maybe not maybe it's a toy wow the wind is really picking up we got gerbils oh look at this we got the Incredibles phone there you go you guys need to get a hold of me and George Right there, you just pick up this phone and dial. Get you right to the Incredibles. That, that would be me and George. I'm referring to the Incredibles. Well, okay, more George than me, but... What is all this random stuff? How many of you had this TV growing up? This is a performance television by General Electric. Let me know in the comments if you actually had this one. And look at this. Whoops. Tropical air heater it's sealed it's in the box still any of you guys ever have this one coil heating element large chrome reflector 600 watts i mean cool piece of history still in the box sealed it's 100 degrees out i'm sweating like crazy 
But this is what I love being fun employed. I found a track. So in this huge pile that just keeps going, at least I have one bike that I think could be worth something. And again, we still don't know what else is back in there. Let's hope for something. And not more computer monitors. Look at this. I pulled a bike and I had to get the camera. This chair fell back. And you see what that is? You see what that is, guys? That's a that's a water bottle filled with cash. Now, it may be all pennies, and it may only be uh, $50 of worth of pennies, but cash is cash. All right, so I got to I got to get the rest of these bikes out, which are still kind of in the way, and I'll get this out. Well, let's just pull this right now cuz that was in the way. Here, there we got a better No, there's some silver in there. You guys see that? There's definitely some silver in there. So, Oh, let's get this out and let's see what's in there. Look at this. We got a couple mongooses in here. Actually, three. I see three of them, which used to be good bikes. I don't know how good they are anymore. We'll have to look those up online. Look at the storm coming down on me now. Oh, man. Fun employment at its best. The good news is I was able to get these boxes back under cover. The bad news is, is there's a typhoon outside right now. The good news is, is there's a typhoon outside right now because it was 100 degrees. Looks like we got a Play-Doh refrigerator. Probably, oh, look at that. Some gold-plated silverware that was kept for something. My guess... Some kind of noise gun. We've got... Look at this. I hope you can hear me over all that rain. If not, I'll have to edit all this out. Look at this. Look at all these porcelain pieces. Look at all that. All the animals. Look, there's an entire huge bag of it. Every animal you can think of. This huge bag all colored pieces isn't that something that's cool look look what we got here we got video games pokemon batman mario brothers come on be in there oh it's not in there pokemon come on no it's not in there come on i'm being poured on make it worth it for me i need some money come on i gotta make some money uh looks like a bunch of personal pictures yeah, definitely personal stuff. This is how much I've been rained on so far. Could be sweat too. Ah, oh, I don't have a knife. We're gonna do it without one. Oh, look at this. It looks like we just hit a treasure chest. We got a collection of old Coke bottles. There were a bunch of coffee cans which I didn't show you because they were so boring. They were loose. They weren't in a box. Come on. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah! Now we're talking. Now we are talking. A bunch of HP balloons. Balloons. Which further helps our profiling that we think this was actually a computer business. So... And, oh, we got all kinds of... Uh, I got the drugs. Got the drugs. Yeah, I, I literally could open a drugstore. Okay. Holy cow. The monsoon that's coming in here right now. Alright, I'm going to have to shut this off. Let's see what we got here. We'll battle this weather and hopefully it dies off. We've got... My first leap pad. Let's see if it's in there. Let's hope it is. Uh, parts of it are for sure. And the games, so that's cool. Ethernet stuff. We got a we got a jug. A bistro feeding system. Not sure what that is. We've got oh, let me make sure. Look at that. Florida's Treasured Pirates. 
Look at that. Now that's what we like. We're looking for treasure. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe there'll be some in here. No, that's not treasure. I don't know what that is. Here's an air ionizer. There's a bunch of duct tape. Oh, this is heavy, whatever it is. It is... It's a drill! It is a drill. No doubt, it is a drill. Pet Supply Plus. Obviously had a pet. This is probably part of a pet something. Oh, it's a crawler crib. I've officially dug it out. And as you can see, there's not just pennies, but there's all kinds. So we got silver in there too. Now it's, holy cow. Holy cow, it's extremely heavy. Broken there, but it looks to be full. This is just, holy cow. I'm not even sure I can move it by myself. We're gonna have to weigh this and cash this all in at the bank. And I don't even think I can move this by myself. I'll probably have to... Holy cow, I can barely... Okay, there we go. Budging it a little bit. I can get it to slide. All right, give me a guess in the comments. How much do you think is inside? How much do you think's inside this water bottle? And I'll see if George will go to the bank with me. We'll have to do it whenever we get some free time. And we'll cash it in and we'll see who is closest. Get your guess down in the comments. How much do you think's in here? Hopefully at least 160 to pay for the unit. Thankfully, when the manager came out to inspect, he had a milk crate that gave us handles and he helped me load it up into the trailer. So we were able to move it. We're guessing somewhere close to 300 plus pounds because it is heavy.